Hey guys, this is Corey Lawrence. Thanks for hanging out with me on Tangent, where I talk about topics and trends in the creative industry. Cue that RTB roll. Apple's newest camera feature might seem like a gimmick to some, but in certain situations, live photos can create quite interesting content. Only available on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, live photos are a strange combination of a still image, a GIF, and a video file. It's not quite a GIF because it has higher quality and audio components. It's not quite a video because it's made of individual stitched images. It's just a live photo. From my experiences, the live photos feature works best with people, nature, and concerts. Although live photos create a new interesting medium, they have a few shortcomings. The files take up more space on your phone. You cannot edit a live photo without first stripping it of its live aspect. Also, there is not a lot of support for them outside of the Photos and Messages app. Even with these shortcomings, I'm excited to see what the next iteration of live photos will be on the next iOS and iPhone. To get a deeper dive and see more live photos that I've taken, head on over to the Tangent blog at the link in the description below. I gotta hit that string, you better watch it. Whip, I got that, I got it with a full clip. I got the whip, got the pigeon that I keep it undercover, all up in the cup, just to live it up. Caravan Palace is a French-based electro swing band based in Paris. They released their first album in 2008. Electro swing combines the influence of vintage or modern swing and jazz, mixed with house, hip hop, and EDM. You can listen to the track on Apple Music, Spotify, or YouTube in the link in the description. There you can also listen to the official Banger Break playlist, where you can stay chair dancing and productive to every week's soundtrack. Finding a local community of like-minded creatives can sometimes be difficult, especially when you first move to a new area. That is, it's difficult if you're not on meetup.com. Meetup is an online social networking platform that facilitates in-person group meetups around the world. Meetup allows its members to find and join groups unified by a common interest. You can find a group of like-minded people for just about any obscure interest. Now, now, as of this video, there are over 4,000 creative meetup groups around the world, with over 900,000 members in the creative category. In other words, if you want to go out and meet creatives in your local community, there's probably a group for you. Just in my local area, there are meetups for hackathons, museum outings, writing critiques, Lightroom workshops, 3D printing, etc, etc, etc. There's no better way to get the creative juices flowing than to get out of your comfort zone, meet people from all different backgrounds, and learn a thing or two along the way. So go put yourself out there and meet some people in your local community. As I like to say, opportunities only come to those who are open to them. Yuko Shimizu is a Japanese illustrator based in New York City and an instructor at the School of Visual Arts. After an 11-year career in advertising and PR in Tokyo, Yuko saved enough money to move to New York City in 1999 to pursue her lifelong dream of becoming an artist. Yuko Shimizu begins her illustrations by drawing a rough sketch with a pencil. She then adds the brush strokes over the sketch with ink on paper. Yuko then scans in her original ink on paper drawing and adds color in Photoshop. She draws much of her inspiration from the Edo period in Japan. Yuko carries a particular compassion towards the human spirit in her images. There is a sense of angst yet peace that encompasses the serene landscapes, juxtaposed with warriors or intense human emotions. Take a look at more of her work on the Tangent blog at the link in the description below. That wraps it up for this week's Tangents. Make sure to like the video and subscribe because you never know what you're going to get on Tangent.